Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So we got a little bit of news. The Washington football team is signing defensive tackle Gabe Wright and offensive lineman Najee Toron. So we'll talk about that real quickly and I'll give you guys an update on the Washington football team's minicamp, including Chase Young being back in Ashburn and he will be at May Camp this week. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. All right, so first let's go ahead and talk about the two signings and then we'll talk about mini camp this week and who is expected to show up. So it should be a pretty quick video. So like I said, they're annou they announced that they're signing two players, defensive tackle Gabe Wright and center slash guard Najee Toron. So, you know, both of these guys I expect to be depth signings. Um, you know, Najee Toron has, you know, he hasn't, I don't think, played in any NFL games yet. He's been on three different teams. And Gabe Wright has been in the league for a while. So he is a veteran. You look at, you know, his stats. I think he's uh, has 12 total tackles as a, a defensive tackle. Um, played for the Jaguars, Raiders, Dolphins, Browns, and Lions. So he's been there for a while um, one in interesting thing, Gabe Wright was drafted by Martin Mayhew in his last draft in Detroit, is a former fourth round pick. So we know this this move right here is a Martin Mayhew move, you know, bringing in some possible depth and, you know, most likely a camp body, but who knows if he has a really, really good camp, there's a possibility of him maybe, maybe making the roster. But again, you know who we have at those spots um, and it's going to be very hard for him to make the roster but if they keep this you know same practice squad rules as last year then definitely could see him as a possible um, practice squad player um, you know 12 total tackles really or 10 total tackles really nothing a uh, special right there and then same thing with Najee Toron um, he's been in the league for um, a while most recently with the New England Patriots again another depth move right here he plays center and guard but I mean we're pretty good in at the guard position especially um, depth wise we have you know Eric Flowers Brandon Sheriff Wes Schweitzer Sadiq Charles um, Keith Ismael so we have a lot of guys that can play the guard position so again gonna be pretty hard for him to make the roster um, we'll see though, most likely though, these two signings right here are, you know, camp bodies, uh, with the possibility of making the practice squad, um, if they keep the same practice squad rules as last year, we'll see though. Um, but yeah, nothing major right here. And then quickly, let's talk about, you know, mini camp. So Chase Young was here today for media day and he obviously is expected to, um, show up for, uh, mini camp he came back to Ashburn he's been training for a while and you know I know a lot of people were upset that he didn't show up you know because uh, he's supposed to be a team leader and you know obviously I rather had him show up than not but I still think he's been a good leader I mean the day after Jamin Davis was drafted um, Chase Young and Jonathan Allen took him out to dinner and, you know, I think that shows what, you know, a good leader he is. He's going to be here for minicamp. And, you know, honestly, that's all that matters. As long as he's in shape, which, I mean, we've seen he's still in shape. That's good. R right here, I'll play the video from Chase Young. Um, it's only five seconds, but you guys can go ahead and watch it real quick. Chase Young checking in. Got the jersey on. Suit and booty. Y'all know what time it is. Chase Young checking in. So it's good to see him back, obviously, and I'm excited to see him. You know, it's only going to be a few days, so minicamp is going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. Um, I do think the media will be there for every day of minicamp, and, you know, typically Washington kind of does like two and a half, you know, they do the first two days of minicamp, and the third day they might, you know, take that off. Um, so we'll see what Ron Rivera does. I honestly think they'll have all three days of minicamp because, you know, Ron Rivera did cut OTAs um, short by one week. So um, I'm excited to see them play or, you know, see them on the field. And I do think everyone is going to be there for mandatory minicamp because, again, it's this. that's really the main difference from OTAs. 
to minicamp. OTAs are voluntary and minicamp is mandatory. So, um, you know, Charles Leno was back last week. He looked good. He's going to be here. I mean, I expect everyone should be here unless they have some, you know, issue. And we'll probably learn about that tomorrow. But I'm excited and I will have a video out most likely for every single day. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you know, I'll give you guys some highlights and talk about some of the takeaways from that day. So stay tuned for that. Also in the comments down below, let me know any videos you guys want me to uh, go ahead and post. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and let me know what you guys think about the signing and what, you know, are you excited about minicamp or not? Peace guys.